Welcome, welcome to Scrap Day. We're going to trim off the bottom. And when we trim off the bottom, all we're doing is we're going to do a little trip cross, both sides, and I'll open it up a little bit, and they look kind of cool as well. Okay, so we've got the Brussels sprout, the water's now simmering. The Brussels sprout's at the bottom of my basket. Just for about, I think about three minutes of simmering, and you'll see them open. So we want to stop them from cooking, so I'm just going to whack them straight into some ice water. To be fair, especially in England, water from the tap is probably cold enough. So I'm going to cool down in water. Once you get them out, if you do, just chuck them on a towel. The towel will just sort of dry them off a little bit. Another one. We're going to char the middle bit. So I've got a small char grill pack down there. You sit on top of your stove and you want to get that really, really hot. The great thing about char grilling vegetables is uh, any moisture that's in them sort of drains off down these, down these lines, the griddle lines, and you're left with this beautiful charred flavour, which also is a really easy secondary heating method. So these Brussels sprouts can be cooked off the day before, put in ice water. And then on your day, you've already just cut it up, you've just got to heat the griddle pan. There we go. But I'm just going to drizzle, this is just olive oil. I'm just drizzling that on. And you can see it's smoking it straight away. It's probably what you're more expecting a char grill to look like. And this is why it looks like it, because people always put oily food on it. So, that's just changing how it's cooking completely. Then all we do is start turning them over so the other side gets a little bit of love. There we go, and they're just looking lovely. And at this point, if leaves are falling off, don't get rid of them, they're just gonna be lovely and just really help the whole, the whole vibe. I'm just gonna turn the heat off. Bang, heat's off. And you can leave them sitting in the pan, just sort of while you're getting everything else ready. I'm just gonna move that away from the heat. 